Choosing the right crochet hook can make all the difference in your crochet journey. From maintaining your tension to preventing pain, your hook choice is vital for your enjoyment of crochet. But there are so many different types and brands of crochet hooks out there. How do you know which one is right for you? Well, that's what I'm going to try and help you with in this video. We're going to talk about the different types of crochet hook, what to look for when you're buying a crochet hook. I'm even going to go through loads of different crochet hook brands. We're going to talk about the pros and cons. I'm going to rank them. And then at the end, I'm going to give you my absolute number one crochet hook recommendation that are my ride or die hooks that I would never be without. So get comfy and let's talk all things crochet hook. So I've gathered up all of the crochet hooks I can find to show you in this video. We've got a whole range of brands and types of crochet hooks here to chat about. So apart from the size of your crochet hook, I think the next most important thing to think about when choosing crochet hook is the material that it's made of and not the handle material, but specifically the hook material. And the material I really don't like and I would not recommend is actually plastic. So there's a couple of reasons why I don't like plastic hooks, but they do have their pros as well. The pros are that they're usually cheap and widely available and that they're really lightweight to hold when you're actually crocheting. However, the reason I don't like them is they're really grippy. By grippy, I mean that when I'm making my crochet hit stitches, so when I'm putting my hook in my crochet, when I'm yarning over and pulling the yarn through, I find that plastic hooks have so much grip that it's like fighting with it you're fighting to make it make that stitch it's not sliding and gliding through that yarn and making it an easy and enjoyable um experience so i wouldn't necessarily recommend plastic hooks although i don't mind the prim ergonomics hooks the other thing to say about plastic hooks is if you use a plastic hook with acrylic yarn so acrylic is sort of the most widely available yarn where i am in the uk so with acrylic yarn you can get a squeak when you're crocheting and i find that really annoying so that's another thing to consider with plastic crochet hooks another material of crochet hooks that i'm not massively keen on are wood crochet hooks and I don't mind them as long as they've had a coating on that wood to make sure that it is not grippy I find that especially like raw bamboo hooks they can be really grippy if not more grippy than the plastic hooks but when they've got a coating on they can they do have a little bit more slide and glide through that yarn than the plastic stitches and I, I'm still not a massive fan of wooden hooks but they are lightweight and they do look fantastic. So the other materials are resin so I've got one I believe I've got one resin crochet hook. Um, I have crocheted with this I don't mind it it is a little bit nicer than the plastic crochet hooks again but it's still a little bit too grippy for me and if you have a look at the range of crochet hooks I've got here you might notice that most of them are metal hooks and that is my preference I find that in general metal hooks are, have a lot less friction when you're making those stitches so they are a lot easier to crochet with. With metal crochet hooks you can get plain metal crochet hooks like this one here and you can also get metal hooks with a handle so that's another consideration we need to think about when we're thinking about what crochet hook do we want to use do we want one with a handle if so how big does that handle need to be if you've got arthritis or joint problems you might want one with a really chunky handle whereas if you don't have any of those problems and you can get these hooks really cheap and widely available near you then maybe the hooks without the handle is the way to go the shapes of the handle as well can make a lot of difference to our enjoyment of crochet. So I've got quite a few different shaped handles here. So this is an Addy swing hook and it is supposed to have an ergonomic handle. You hold it like this here with your thumb on the thumb rest here. A lot of crochet hooks will have a flat or a concave bit for your thumb at the top of the handle. Um, other sorts of hooks often can have this sort of fatter hook so it's like the hook gets fatter and then slimmer again this is a furls hook but you can also find this design on the prim ergonomic hooks as well another type of handle are flat handles now flat handles can be good for some crocheters i really enjoy this hook this is the clover soft touch hook and it has a flat handle with that is sort of like a hard plastic and then there is a soft uh, section here 
um, where your thumb rests. I really like this hook. However, it might not be suitable for everybody because that handle is flat. If you crochet by ever so slightly rolling that hook within your hand as you're making your stitches, as some people do, this hook is probably not going to work well for you because you can't roll it very easily because that handle is flat. But I do love these flat handles. Um, the other sorts of handles you might find are these handles here that have some of them do have a flatter um, thumb rest here and a rounder bottom and some here are flatter like the Clover Amour. So there's a whole range of different types of handles that you can try as well. So let's start talking about brands of crochet hooks and which ones I'd recommend and which ones I wouldn't. The first ones I'm going to say that I absolutely do not recommend at all are Pony brand crochet hooks. You get plastic ones and you get this coated aluminium ones. I don't actually have any to show you because I really, really hate Pony crochet hooks. So I got rid of them a long time ago this one was just hanging around in the bottom of a knitting bag somewhere so this is the only one that is left so I don't like the plastic ones or the coated aluminium pony ones I know I said I like metal hooks but that coated aluminium this sort of grey colour is just horrible I really really don't like it at all it's got similar problems to the plastic in that it's too grippy when you're trying to make your crochet stitches so if you um, want to take my advice stay away from pony brand hooks so but the, the thing with pony brand hooks are is they're usually the cheapest that you can get in the craft shops or they are anyway near me so if we go completely to the other end of the spectrum we can get handmade hand carved hooks and a really popular brand for that is furl so here i've got three hooks that are furl's brand now i have only crocheted a lot with the resin hook on the left hand side i've done a fair amount of crochet with a few hours worth with this one and i haven't really used the wooden one so i yeah so this is a um so these are two these are called furl streamline and this is called furl's odyssey now these are pricey crochet hooks i think the streamline hooks are around about 18 20 pounds in the uk they are an american made thing so i don't know if they're cheaper over in america and then the furls odyssey is the most expensive hook i think i've seen um i got this from a seller in the uk who is like an official furl seller and it was 37 pounds so it is expensive for a crochet hook i'm probably going to do a separate review on this crochet because i don't feel like i've given it enough chance yet so let's just start with the furls streamlines so furl streamline has something called an inline crochet hook so if i bring this a little closer to the camera let me just get one here and i'll get another hook to show you what I mean so there are two types of shapes of crochet hook sort of the hook part of the crochet hook there is inline so that is where the neck and the throat of the crochet hook is straight there's no tapering here and if you can see it's just sort of had a little knot nook a little a little section taken out there to form the crochet hook but essentially this was a straight cylinder and then that bit has been carved out whereas the tapered crochet hooks if you can see can you see how this goes in ever so slightly here and here and if we look at the from the front it tapers in as well so i much prefer the tapered hooks i find them a lot easier to crochet with but you do have to make sure you're slipping your yarn overs down onto that section there and not keeping them tight up on the throat because that will make your stitches too tight you want to put them down here onto the shaft that is the right size this is a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook so when we're thinking about the shape of the crochet hook we also want to think about how pointy that crochet hook is if you can see at the top here this hook has more of a point whereas this one is more rounded and i think it's even more pronounced if we look at a bigger hook you can kind of i hope you can see there 
that that is quite a pointy hook and you can get more rounded hooks as well so the shape of the hook is also something else we want to consider but in general if you start using inline hooks you will get used to them and if you start using tapered hooks you will get used to them so that is completely down to personal preference i prefer the tapered because i'm used to them rather than the inline so anyway after that little detour let's get back to the fill streamline so yeah so i have used this fill streamline and i haven't really used this apart from just giving it a quick go so i think they're fine but because they are that inline shape i struggle to crochet with them and i actually went onto a facebook group when i bought these crochet hooks because i thought well they're supposed to be really good for um people with joint problems so i have hypermobile joints and i do really like how that handle fits in my hand however when i posted in the group about how the tips of the crochet hooks kept getting caught as I was doing those yarn over and put pulls through. The answer was you need to use it for longer, even though I'd already used this one for about five or six hours. They kept saying, oh no, you've not used it long enough. You're not used to it yet. Once you get used to it, you'll never go back to another crochet hook. That's not what I want from a crochet hook. I don't want to get so used to a crochet hook that I can't use any other crochet hook. So I think the furls for me are a no. Um, and this is, you know, similar with the Furls um, Odyssey. The Furls Odyssey has a slightly, I think if I show you, it has a slightly different... No, if I can bring that a little bit closer, if it focuses. There we go. has a different hook shape, but it has a very similar handle shape. And it is really heavy, this. for Well, for the size, it feels really heavy. It's, it is weighted, and the Furls claims that that weight makes you crochet faster. Whether that's true or not, I don't know. My other bugbear with the Furls Odyssey hook, you're paying £37 for a hook. And to tell the size, it's got, uh, I don't know if you can see that, it's got a sticker on the bottom. It's not even engraved or printed anywhere on the hook. And that really bugs me that I've spent this much money on a crochet hook and they haven't even like given me a permanent solution for what size it is. But anyway, so this is sort of a combination crochet hook. You can see... If I look, it does taper ever so slightly, not at the back, but at the side. So that's sort of like an in-between style hook, the Fells Odyssey. But I had a similar problem with these in that when I was doing my yarn over and pull throughs, that part of the hook kept catching on my yarn and it was really, really frustrating because I feel like with a crochet hook, you want it to be easy to crochet with and i found that these the tip sort of that tip of the hook there with the furls odyssey hooks is just too sharp and pointy essentially so the furls hooks i'm probably going to give them one more try because they were quite an expensive investment but we will see if i actually end up liking them so speaking of furls hooks i have tried some knockoff furls so this is an omi these are omi brand omi o-m-m-i brand hooks you can get them on amazon so we've got a plastic one here and a wooden one here i don't think i've used these enough to have an opinion but again they are inline crochet hooks um they are quite pointy though which i do like so i don't feel like i can have a full judgment of these yet i've barely used them but i have a feeling that i'm going to have similar issues with these than the furls hooks and this one is plastic so probably not going to like that but we will see we will see i will reserve judgment on these so i'm sort of putting i've got my pony hooks over here because these are going to be the worst hooks and these are going to be the sort of going over to best hooks so the furls and the omi i'm going to leave up here and we will come back to them later so let's talk about these cheap metal hooks next they are widely available you can get them in craft shops well the ones that i've been to anyway you can get them in craft shops um you can get them on amazon they are fairly cheap you can get sets of them these are often the hooks that people start with because they are so widely available I don't necessarily think they're bad. I learned to crochet with them. Again, I now prefer hooks with handles because I do have hypermobile joints, but these were great when I first started crocheting with them. I think for these chunkier sizes as well, um, I don't mind them so much. I don't like the length of them. I find them quite short. Like if, for example, when I'm holding it here, there's nothing sticking out here. And I also don't like how there's such a small space between that thumb rest and where that, so this is a tapered hook, where that tapering comes out into the size of the hook. So yeah, so these cheap metal hooks, I think they're okay. I would probably say they're fine, they're average. 
um yeah i don't find them difficult to crochet with they are fairly slippy so when you're crocheting with them they have a nice glide but not as nice as some of the other hooks that we're going to talk about so i'm going to leave these up here with the furls until we've made some room to rank these crochet hooks so the next crochet hooks i'm going to talk about are prim ergonomics now I was pleasantly surprised when I tried these hooks, having been someone that hates plastic crochet hooks. They are actually, for a plastic crochet hook, they are fine. They have a lot more glide than um, cheaper plastic hooks, but nowhere near the same as metal. And I really love on these, the handle, how long they are. And they're so comfortable. Um, they have got this sort of similar shape to the furls, but they're slightly flattened. So I don't know if you can see. So this these sides sort of stick out and this bit is slightly flatter but it is still genuinely a round hook and they are so so comfortable to hold i really love them if they did this handle with a metal hook i will have i would have my favorite i would have my like favorite crochet hook it would be brilliant so yeah i really love the handle again these are plastics if you're using acrylic yarn you can get a bit of squeak um, the shape of them, the hook at the top is also nice, it's tapered, it's fairly pointy. So yeah, I actually quite like the Prim Ergonomics hooks for someone that doesn't like plastic hooks. So if you like plastic hooks and you want some to go, maybe try Prim Ergonomics. You can get a set of them on Amazon quite cheap. I'll link the, it down in the description if that's something you're interested in. So we're now down to my favourite sort of crochet hook and that is metal crochet hooks with a handle. So as I said earlier, I have hypermobile joints. I also have something called a hitchhiker's thumb. So I don't know if you can see that is when I stretch my thumb out, it has um, sort of a bend in it. And I can find that sometimes with some crochet hooks, having too much pressure on my thumb can bend it back a little bit more. And that makes this thumb joint here quite painful. So I'm quite picky with the shape of my um crochet hooks so let's talk about this hook here so this is a knit pro soft grip hook i've also tried some um cheap sets that you can get on amazon that are sort of a metal hook with a handle these are essentially these hooks with a handle um i wouldn't necessarily say these are worth the extra money compared to the metal hooks i think that you get what you'll pay for and if you buy a cheap set on amazon then i don't think they last as long i don't think they're as nice to crochet with as some of these more expensive crochet hooks so we're gonna probably put this one down here with the plastics it's one of my least favorite hooks i find that they're just not the, especially this knit pro soft grit hook it's just not very slippy compared to my other metal hooks so let's talk about these next so these are Addy swing hook so this is the original Addy swing and this is the Addy swing maxi so i was really excited to try these because of this really interesting shaped handle that i think reminds me a little bit of a toothbrush um but i know these are really popular with some people so i was really excited to try them so if you can see the shape of the hook here we've got a thumb rest here that's a bit concave and then down here we've got this bend and it widens out here so that makes it really comfortable to hold down here with your um last two fingers i find some crochet hooks too small here so when you're holding it you can get some cramp in these fingers if you're crocheting for hours on end so the reason why i put off trying that addy swing hooks i only tried these a few months ago was because they had such a short gap here between sort of the neck of the um, crochet hook this bit here and the shaft of the crochet hook that was so small that i knew if i was doing something like puff stitches i just or like tool stitches like double treble crochets i just would not enjoy how short this length is so i put off trying it and then when they brought out the one with the longer neck so this is the addy swing maxi i was like okay i'll try them i ordered these from the addy website and i was really disappointed when i got them because i think if i bring them close to the camera you can see there are these tiny little scratches i don't know if you can see it very well but there are these tiny little scratches on the metal part of the hook from where they've been manufactured like i bought these directly from addy so they should be you know they came packaged they should be brand new from the factory and i'm really annoyed that both of these hooks have that problem and when you're crocheting you can kind of feel the yarn going over these scratches in the crochet hook so yeah i was really disappointed about that the other thing that really disappointed me actually was the shape of the handle. I was expecting this to be really comfortable to hold and it's, 
Apart from this fatter bit at the bottom, that's the only good thing I can say about this handle. I don't think it's particularly comfortable. I find that this thumb dip here is too deep from up here. And I also find that it pushes my thumb back into that unnatural sort of shape and then hurts my thumb joint. But I do know that some people really love Addy Swing Hook. So maybe if you kind of like the idea of a funky shaped handle, these might be a good one to try as well. So we've got three types of crochet hooks left here. Let's start with these. So these are the Clover Soft Touch Crochet Hooks. And these were my favourite hooks for such a long time, for years and years and years. I love them. They don't have much grip up here. So when you're crocheting, they slide and glide through the crochet so easily. Um, they're tapered. They aren't massively pointy, but can you see how... I'll just bring this a little bit closer. Can you see how the tip of that hook just there is rounded? I love that. It means that it doesn't snag on the yarn. And that is a big problem I have with some crochet hooks is that that bit snags on the yarn when I'm doing my yarn over and pull through. As I said earlier, these flat handles, I really like them. They work really well for how I crochet. But for some people, these are really not good at all because of that well like I said earlier about rolling it in your hand so yeah the clover soft touch I do like and I do crochet with these still quite a lot but it's no longer my favorite crochet hook but I am going to put these crochet hooks over here to one side because I would rate these as second in this sort of like worst to best these are going to be second absolutely so we've got these are actually two types of crochet hooks. So we, this is the Clover Amore range. This is one of their steel ones in a really small size. You can see how tiny that is. And this is one of their normal crochet hooks. So the steel one is fine, but I've not necessarily used it very much. So yes, we've got the Clover Amore. And then over here is the Tulip Etimo. In general, from what I've seen online, most people's favorite crochet hook is either Clover Amore or Tulip Etimo. So let's talk about the tulip etimo hook first you can see they are really similar hooks though so tulip etimo so this hook is about eight pound fifty nine pound fifty in the uk um they come in a whole range of colors but the shape of them is essentially the same i believe this is a rose one because it's got that pink handle so the crochet hook at the top is brushed aluminium, which I've discovered is my favourite material for crochet hooks because it's so slippy. This hook glides so well into crochet. It does have a really lovely glide. You can see the hook does have a slightly um, tapered, it does, sorry, it does have a tapered edge, but I find that that tip of the crochet hook sticks out so much so if we compare it to say or let's compare it to the clover soft touch can you see how on the tulip etimo it sticks out ever so slightly more i don't know how obvious this is on camera it sort of sticks out past where that crochet hook shaft is there so i don't necessarily like that i find this catches so much i had to change the way I, so i crocheted most of my granny hexagon cardigan with this hook and i found that this tip just snagged on the yarn so much and it was really frustrating but it does slip through really well I do like how the hook is completely round at the bottom so it's easy to roll in your hand if you're that sort of crocheter and then the thumb rest here it is slightly concave and this is why as well as the snaggy tip this is why this is not my favorite hook I just I find that that concave handle after an hour or two of crocheting it really does my thumb join in um, I also ideally would prefer a thicker handle actually it's slightly too skinny for me so yeah the tulip etimo is fine you might really like it if you um, crochet in a way where the tip of your hook doesn't snag and you don't have issues with your joints this hook might be really nice but I do think it is a bit more expensive than the clovers um so yeah I'm pro i would probably rank this for third or fourth place we'll see once we get to it so big reveal my favorite crochet hook is the clover and more i didn't bring them all out but i have a full set of these crochet hooks and i found a really good deal on amazon that i'll link down in the description if you fancy a full set of clover and mores so the reason why i love clover and mores is it's got the same shape as my beloved 
clover soft touch but the tip of that hook like i was saying with the the um clover etimo sticks out too far this sticks in even more than the um clover soft touch it has that tapered point it's not very pointy it's got quite a rounded top but i find that that's okay when i'm crocheting because the head of this crochet hook this metal shaft here is so so slippy when you're um crocheting with it my tension with this hook is so even it's such a pleasure to crochet with it feels like an extension of my hand when i'm using it it's so comfortable um and just how this slides through the yarn so easily is wonderful it's a brushed aluminium and that is why i think these clover and more hooks are superior to any other crochet hooks even those cheap sets that you get on amazon with the handles and the clover um not the clover the tulip etimo i don't know if you can see the tulip etimo is slightly shinier whereas the clover and more is brushed and i i just think that brushed aluminium makes all of the difference now let's talk about the shape of the handle so their their hooks 4.5 millimeter and over have a really nice handle so the handle has a fairly thick section here for you to hold and a flat thumb rest here i just find this handle so easy to hold my one, my one and only bugbear with the Clover and More hooks is for the four millimeter hook and below. I think I've only got this one out to show you. Let me go and grab another one. Okay, I found a 3.25 millimeter hook. So if we can see between these two hooks, can you see that the handle on the left here is smaller than the handle on the right? And that is my one bugbear with the Clover and More hooks is four millimeter, which is my most used crochet hook is a four millimeter. Um, four millimeter and below have this smaller version of the handle and their steel crochet hooks the ones for like micro crochet or doilies are even smaller again so if you can see so the same shape but in three different sizes and I that's my one bugbear is I wish the smaller hooks had the same handle as the bigger hooks um, which is a shame I do know that there are people out there that make um, FIMO uh like molded clay handles for crochet hooks and some people do do it with the clover and more head so i'm tempted to do that for a four millimeter hook but we will see um yeah so that's my one bugbear with the clover and mores otherwise absolutely love them highly highly recommend them and like i said i'll link to this hook and all of the hooks that i have put in this video down in the description so now let's get to the ranking so clover and mores obviously right on this side let's just do one hook per thing so my clover and mores are going in first place and then my clover soft touch are going in second place now i think that the battle for third place is between the prim ergonomics and the tulip etimo i think i'm going to go tulip etimo for third place because like i said for some people it will work and i probably would pick up the tulip etimo over the prim so the prim ergonomics are going in fourth which for a plastic hook is pretty good considering how much i hate plastic hooks so we've got that in fourth so what other hooks have we got left with right i would probably say in fifth are these i think that they're quite nice to crochet with i learned with them um i think they're fine i think they are much better value than these sorts of hooks with a handle but that's personal preference so let's put these two in fifth place so now let's have a look at these i'm sorry but these addy swings were such a disappointment they're going fairly fairly down there the maxi is better than the normal but they're going sort of like down that end now the omni crochet hooks i don't feel like i can rank these because i haven't used them enough so i'm gonna sort of um i might get back to you on whether i like them or not when i do the fells review but yeah i don't think these hooks are for me um, I actually did quite enjoy crocheting with the resin, the streamline resin hooks from Furls. I didn't actually mind them too much. I I definitely liked them better than the wood. And then the Odyssey. I don't know. They all snagged on the yarn so much. I don't know if I can separate them. I think probably the Odyssey because it's metal. I think that gets sixth place. And then the streamlines gets... Um, sixth and seventh 
So here is our final rating. We've got Clover Amour in first place, Clover Soft Touch in second, followed by Tulip Etimo, Prim, Prim Ergonomics, um, cheap metal hooks, no particular brand. I know that there are some branded metal hooks over in America like Susan Bates, but we don't have those over here in the UK. Then we've got... Um, sort of cheaper ones with handles we've got fell's odyssey and i feel like fell's hooks may move up this ranking once i've given them a bit more of a try addy swings down there in my least favorites along with pony hooks so there we have it my favorite crochet hook that i recommend to everyone is the clover amour crochet hook if you have a different favorite let me know down in the comments and don't forget to like this video while you're there and check out this video if you fancy watching some more of my content